Welcome to HiFinder Expo Highlight from the Hydrogen Technology Expo in Hamburg 2024. Today I'm sitting here with Tim Wu from Highproof Technologies. Hi. Tim, I see you've brought some stuff with. What exactly is this and can you tell us about it? Yes, thank you so much for the introduction. Here what we have is proton exchange membranes, yes. uh, one's for electrolyzer, one's for fuel cells, and then we also have anion exchange membranes where we see the future going. Uh, this one's more so for uh, uh, flow cells as well. So yeah. Okay, so these, these are uh, proton exchange membranes? Yes, proton exchange membranes. Yes, yes. and these are anion exchange, anion exchange membranes. membranes yes. And the one's for fuel cells and the other one for the electrolyzer. Yes. Okay. So what's the difference? Uh, yep. Yeah. So the material is actually the same. It's EPTFE based with our resin that we have yeah. uh, shown here. All um, right. Mm -hmm. For the electrolyzer, it's actually thicker. So the actually the, the second number denotes how thick it is. Yes. So this is 80 micron. All right. Both the electrolyzers need a thicker one. So thicker one. A thicker to withstand the different pressures that come from the hydrogen. I understand. And then for uh, fuel cells, it's a uh, thinner. So this is a uh, 12 microns. Uh, so it's a much. This is thinner compared to this one as so well. So this is like yes. seven times thicker uh, yes. than that. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, different membrane from this one. This one here is an anion exchange membrane. Uh, we actually sort of see that's sort of the future is going because with uh, the proton exchange membrane, electrolyzers and fuel cells, uh, the catalysts and things need precious metals. Yes. They're very expensive, such as iridium or platinum. Yeah. So, yeah okay. Yes. But with this, it, it's not so much. But so the, the, the catalysts are not in this. They're in another. Thing yes. Here, so you so. usually add the catalysts as the layers. Okay. Or, on yeah, top of that. Yeah, okay. So, all right. And so, so this being anion exchange, why why is this is, is this is the darker one? Is this? Yes. What is in it? <laughs> uh, it's just a different type of resin material, uh, right. a different type of polymer, and that sort of gives that off-color hue. So, so, so we just tell it's like a, you'll see a little copper color when yes. you get the anion exchange membrane yes, compared yes, to yes. the other okay. proton exchange membrane is clear. Okay. Yep. And is there, what, what makes these special? I mean, you know, we hear membranes here and there. What, what are you guys using to differentiate yourselves? Yes. Uh. So with us, uh, the market originally, a lot of the markets has what's called a homogene homogeneous membrane. Yes. So it's just usually one layer of something. Yeah. Um, we have believe we have something better, which is uh, EPTFE based multi-layer. Right. Uh, it makes things much thinner. Tensile strength is really good with it. And it also has very good ion conductivity. Uh, as we continue to improve, it continues, continues to get thinner and uh, more compact, and more efficient. Overall, we're trying to make this uh, better technology so it's everyone can have a more cost-effective way of getting hydrogen yes. and also very safe as well as to reduce hydrogen costs over in the certain apparatuses. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So, and you guys are manufacturing this already? And yes. So it is readily available? Yep, readily available. Yeah. So usually it comes in these rolls. We can go, go much longer or much wider if we need to. Yes, yes. Uh, it depends on what the customer needs are. Yes, yes. Uh, we also can change the thickness as well. Okay. Um, but overall, we can also, people would like sometimes to have a cut um, yes. So we'll cut it for them as well. All yeah. right. Okay. So I know um, you know a lot about your you know production and what the difference is and so on. And I think we we did a whole separate video on that. Yes. Yeah? yes so definitely. so I think it's nice uh, that in this we can see it. But just in terms of. Um, the, the, you, you, in the video, you also explained the differences between the PEM and the, the AEM yes. uh, ones. Yeah. Can you just highlight that again? Yeah, to go quickly? through. Uh, so the way the PEM works is uh, water, well, especially for, let's just go through the electro, electrolyzer side. Yeah. Uh, water will hit it, yeah. and then hydrogen will actually go through to yeah. the other side, and oxygen will stay on that side. Yes. And then so that you capture that hydrogen on that side, uh, pressure will build up, and that's why we have such a good membrane to prevent hydrogen crossover. Right. Um, in terms of fuel cells, it's just the reverse. Yes. yes but with yes. anion exchange membrane, uh, instead of the hydro hydrogen going over, the hydroxide ion goes over, and hydrogen oh, stays wow. on that side. So oh, okay, okay. So and, and that is the membrane that uh, essentially makes that uh, yes. difference. All right. Okay, right. okay, okay, cool. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Tim. I, I need to ask you one more thing because I've been looking around at your yeah, stand. Of course. And uh, what what is this? Uh, here. <laughs> yes. So this is going to be our new state-of-the-art facility. It will right. house everything in there. Uh, it's, it's in Shanghai, China. Okay. Uh, it, it will do all the membrane facility, all the EPTFE production, and all the resin, uh, resin making and produ production okay. as well. When, so. I, when I saw that for the first time, I thought it's your next new uh, membrane, membrane or plate that you're making. That'd be really okay. cool to look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. look like that. I think people then all come over and yeah, take a look at it. Yeah, so. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you, Tim, for showing us all of this. It's been a real pleasure. Yeah. So I wish you well. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.